great to be back here in McAllister in Pittsburgh County with all of you. You know, the primary election has come and gone, and uh, we on the Republican side do not have our nominee yet. The Democrats do. Uh, it's the same nominee that they've had for the last three cycles. <laughs> I think it's also important to notice that Dan Boren, on his primary election, spent $700,000 more <clears throat> normal than all the Republican candidates combined. Why is that important as we try to pick our nominee on the Republican side? None. Now, on the Republican side, we have gone from six candidates to two. And whichever candidate emerges, that candidate does not have the time, 10 weeks, 70 days from primary uh, runoff election day to the general election. The Republican nominee does not have the time nor the financial resources to spend one day or one hour in trying to defend their personal record prior to this point. It has to be completely about the issues. And I will tell you that in what my opponent released about his past at the Grove Forum in, uh, in Grove, right before the primary election, would cause him, if the, Repu if the Democrat side would release that information on day one after the runoff election, to spend the rest of the 10 weeks trying to defend his personal record. If we truly want to win back to the seat with a true conservative, we have to have issues in the forefront, not an individual's background. With that said, I would like to address one other thing about my opponent, and that is this. Some of you may have received a mailer or a flyer from my opponent that had Senator Dr. Tom Coburn's picture on it. Now, whether or not you felt that was a, that implied endorsement from Senator Coburn, because of that, Senator Coburn issued a press release that says this, and I would like to share it with you. And I quote, Oklahoma Republicans living in the 2nd Congressional District are blessed with a field of outstanding candidates. I am greatly encouraged by the focus of many of these candidates on restoring the constitutional principles that have made this nation the most free and prosperous on earth, and in stopping the spending addiction in Washington. Before I continue, he sent this out about a week before the primary election. Back to my quote. Because there has been some confusion over the past few days, however, I want to make clear that I am not endorsing any candidate in this primary election. I look forward to seeing the decision that voters make next week and then sitting down with our nominee to discuss the urgent cause we all share. End of quote. What is that cause? It's what in essence, we here in the 2nd Congressional District are all fighting for, and that is to bring about true conservative representation. It's about getting back to our founding morals and values, our Christian values and principles that our country was founded upon. With that said, I'll tell you that I believe in limited, restricted federal government. I believe that not only as individuals, but our government, should recognize the sanctity of all human life. Human life beginning from the moment of conception until death from natural causes. Amen. I believe that we should adhere to and bring greater respect to our Constitution. And I believe in greater moral and personal responsibility. We have to get back to our founding fundamentals and principles that our country was founded upon. That is the saving grace of our country. With that, I would simply ask for your vote and your support on August 24th in the runoff election. Let me back up just one other thing too and say this. Our nominee must also be able to attract the conservative and moderate Democrats to win this election. At best, we have a 70% registration of Democrats to 30% registration of Republicans in the 2nd Congressional District. If you turn out 100% of the Republican registration, 
you will lose this election to the Democrats. Republicans alone cannot win this seat in the general election. It takes the conservative and moderate Democrats, and we have to have a candidate that can appeal to those, can to those voters and attract them and still keep the conservative, the Republican base with them. Polling that was done earlier in this race indicated that this campaign was the best candidate to do that. And with that, I rest my case and I'll be willing to take any questions that you may have on any subject. Yes, sir.